Healthcare First, Blue Cross Blue Shield, based in Maryland and Washington, D.C., just launched a new plan January 1st. And we're here now with Chet Burrell, who is the CEO. And Chet, I'm so pleased to speak with you about this here. plan. You launched a couple of initiatives. Yes, we did. And tell me first about Primary Care Medical Home. Well, Primary Care Medical Home is what its name implies, which is uh, we developed a program to invite all primary care physicians in the region there are about 4,600 of them, to voluntarily join the program. Uh, <clears throat> what that means is they have to form what we're calling a medical care panel, a small group of primaries mm -hmm. that would be each other's backup and coverage, greater access of care uh, to the patients, uh, but also a way of pooling experience so that you can see what um, total patient experience would look like within a performance unit called a medical care panel. Mm -hmm. So we invited them in. Uh, the idea here is to help them identify patients that have high risk, particularly high risk for chronic disease, or already have chronic disease and needing management. Um, so the typical panel of grouping of primaries would be uh, between eight and 10 primaries volunteering to get together. They may be part of an organized group practice, or they may be solo practitioners in the community and they say we eight or we ten are agreeing to become a panel, a medical care panel. And we agree that we will coordinate the care of the patients who choose us as their primary. What we do then is show them their entire patient base that of our patients that have one of those primaries that are in the panel. Mm -hmm. And we show them which patients based on claims histories have the highest risk for chronic disease or actually have multiple chronic diseases. And then we work with the primaries to establish a care plan for those particular patients. So what do they need? It's not just primary care services, it's a whole array of services. Mm -hmm. But using the quarterback, the, the primary, as the quarterback uh, for that care. And really customizing the care. To because, each patient. Yes. So it is what its name implies, as I said. Uh -huh. It's patient-centric. patient, patient -centric. Mm -hmm. It says this particular patient, please look at this patient determine what this patient needs, not mm -hmm. just primary care services, but all services in all settings. Uh, come up with a plan. We will support you to do that plan. We will provide you with technology. Um, uh, and we will provide you with a local nurse. A lot of these physicians are solo practitioners. They don't have the capability within their own office to do this kind of thing. So we assign to them a nurse that would support them. We say, please, you determine what the patient needs. The nurse will document it. Okay. And the nurse will document it in a care plan that's on a system that we make available over the web. So at any time in the future, both the patient, the nurse, and the doctor can call it up in real time and see the plan. And what has <coughs> the response been from it's the been patient terrific. community? I mean, uh -huh. we have there's two things to note, I think. One is that the um, more than half the primary care physicians in the region have already signed up. Mm -hmm. And it's available to all of our three and a half million members who actually live in the area. Yeah. You can opt out. It's a voluntary thing. You don't have to be in it. But if you don't opt out, then you are in it. And so it makes it available to the entire subscriber base. And this isn't the only thing that you just uh, launched. Healthy Blue? Healthy Blue is a product, a coverage plan that goes with this. So what it basically says to the individual is, we will give you rewards, financial rewards, to live a healthy lifestyle. Um, we'll give you a free risk of health risk appraisal done through your primary care physician. It will encompass your blood work, family history, the things that you would normally expect in a health risk appraisal. The first thing that does is increase the awareness of the patient about their own health status and their home own health risk. It also is available to the primary so that they see it. Mm -hmm. um, if there are needs, then those needs can be addressed um, if they're serious enough in a formal care plan. So it gives a free health risk appraisal. It covers primary care and preventive services in full. If you look healthy or you get yourself healthy, if you weren't so healthy to start with, you can have financial rewards, lower deductible, ultimately lower premium, mm -hmm. lower cost sharing as a direct financial reward.
Very innovative um, solutions you have going on in your marketplace. Do you have anything else happening on the horizon? Well, supporting this initiative is a, are a lot of web-based technologies. A lot of this wouldn't have been possible um, even five years ago or certainly ten years ago. So we are making available care plans over the web so that anybody can see them, that is authorized to see them. Another physician, for example, that the primary might refer to, the patient themselves, the nurse involved. All the data about the patterns of care, how many people do I have that are diabetic, that are also hypertensive, uh, so that the doctor can see that pattern. They often never see that pattern mm -hmm. uh, in such an easy way. It's all available over the web in real time, on demand. Um, this wasn't possible just a few years ago, as I said. Right. Um, choices about referrals. I have many things that I may refer a patient out for. What are my choices? And if I did make those referrals to different specialists, what would those specialists cost? Okay. And so that there's more of an informed decision. We don't yes. make decisions for the primary about the quality of these physicians mm -hmm. that they might refer to, but we do with regard to the cost mm -hmm. and we give them a more informed basis for decision. The program offers incentives to the primaries, mm -hmm. a 12% fee increase just to join and agree to be part of it, right. additional fees to uh, develop care plans. We know it takes them more time, $200 for every care plan that they develop, mm -hmm. and then a share of what we call an outcome incentive award. If at the end of the year your patient load, the number of patients that you take care of within your medical home. Uh, have an expected cost of care based on their history. Uh, we determine what that expected cost of care is and we look at the actual performance against it okay. and share the difference with the primary. Right. So right. it's incentive driven, it's information driven, it's all over the web okay. and it's a col collaborative type of uh, approach. All right, that's great information. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Chet. I'm Mabel Zhang. You're watching continuing coverage of the World Healthcare Congress in Washington, D.C.